are live! Hello, everybody, and welcome to our special Z-Box Amazing Race event with Brendan and Rachel here on a Sunday night. We have so much to talk about, find out what they've been up to, talk about tonight's episode, but you know the deal. You can follow me over at Twitter. I'm at Reality Recaps. And who's here with me? It's Brendan and Rachel! Brendan! Hashtag Brendan, uh, at Rachel E. Riley. Uh, I guess at Brendan V B B twelve. I You should change that. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Don't change it. We love it, Brendan. Everybody BB12. was <laughs> Keep it real. Keep it real. We like it. It's how we know you. It's BB fifteen. We're going on to BB sixteen. <laughs> exactly. Wait, 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 is this late breaking news? Are you guys going on BB sixteen? Is there something you want to tell us? No. No. Anything can happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just have to say right now, in memory of your amazing race time, I'm wearing Brenchel Team Green colors for you guys. Oh, Team Green! I love it! Team Green? Team You're... Green is the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we have so much to talk about with you guys, so many questions. Yeah. All of you watching should know that you can leave your questions for Brenton and Rachel right below where you're watching this in the Z-Box room in the little comment section, and then we will pull some of your questions up to ask them to Brenton right. and Rachel. So, oh my goodness, did you really think that Tim and Marie, Marie the Devil, who I can't stand, yeah. um, we're going to give up that express pass to the doctors. Okay, okay I thought Marie was going to lie to the doctors and that they were just going to say whatever they wanted to say and that they were going to not ever give up the express pass and let alone to the doctors. Like, I thought if they were going to give up the express pass, it would have been to, like, the basketball wives or something. Yeah, I was definitely surprised that they gave it up. And, and But I did love the power play. I think you said in the Z-Box room. Oh, my God, it was amazing. It. Yeah. It was it really was, good. I died when she did that last week. I was like, holy crap, this is like epic, amazing race stuff that we want to see. Like, this is the best thing ever that she basically told them, like, give me the express pass or we're not helping you. I was like, I love her. I love her even more for that. They're like our favorite team. <laughs> what do you guys think of Tim and Marie? Because I think as the gays this season aptly named them uh, Marie the Devil, the redheaded devil. <laughs> I agree. I think she's the redheaded devil. Do you guys like them? Do you like Red their hat. aggressive? Is she red? Does she have Well, hair? pink. Her pink yeah. strip hair. Yeah. Her pink strip hair. I... Don't well. First of all, I don't think that they're exes. I'm not gonna lie. Like I was telling Brendan this all the time. I'm like, they don't even act like exes. They don't fight like exes. They don't like when they won like the trip to Hawaii tonight. They kind of seemed a little bit too eager to go together. So I don't even know if they're really exes, but I don't know. I mean, they are very aggressive, amazing race players. Yeah. Well, you're sleeping together in the same room after at the pit stop, so anything's possible, right? Yeah, they're definitely sleeping. Not, nonetheless, I, I think that, in a uh, single bed. I think that they, as a couple, in the beginning, I was a lot more uh, turned away from them because you just were inherently expecting them to just want to kill each other. I mean, you kind of got that vibe from them. Um, then they, you know, start doing okay and they start progressing. I don't, I don't think. I think now she hasn't come off as bad as she was in the beginning more. So I think there's, she's kind of establishing a little bit more likability factor, you know? Mm -hmm. So. I, I like an aggressive team. I like an aggressive team. But, you know, I loved how built into the clue on tonight's episode was you have to be nice. When has you have to be that nice been built into a clue? Manner, that is from I love that. Mm -hmm. I wonder why, because I don't feel like we've really seen anyone be not have manners. Do you think so? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're expecting it, or maybe there, maybe there's 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 stuff going on that we're not seeing too. Yeah. Who knows? You know. Or maybe um, I was thinking since they had to go eat donuts and stuff, maybe they said that because otherwise they were thinking people might just like take a bite of the donut and be like, "All right, bye," and just run out of the yeah. door. You know, like yeah. just run out, like eat a donut and throw it on someone's house ground or something. Because you're like yeah. these people were welcoming them into their actual like own apartment, so maybe. That's why they said like the manner kind of quite, like the manners thing because they wanted to make sure that nobody was going to be. Yeah, I mean, they, they the honestly, they could have just been a preemptive thing mm -hmm. to make sure that people didn't do that run in, 
you know, break the door down, ask where the donut is, shove it in their face, and then sprint out, you know, like an right. American jerk. <laughs> and then all the Polish people are like, stupid Americans. <laughs> I have to say, I loved Travis's move tonight. Oh, my God, that, that all the ele- Uh-huh. That was so good that he pushed all the elevator buttons. He's so smart. They're my favorite team by far. Like, I just love them. <laughs> I do. I love me some doctors. Well, yeah, me too. right off the bat, we have a Z-Box question from Ken who says, and I know you guys only have to answer what you can answer, what happens behind the scenes that we don't see, I assume, when you're racing? Is there anything that you guys can tell us about maybe some cool stuff we don't see behind the scenes? I think there's actually a lot of stuff that they you don't see because, and it's not even behind the scenes, it's just like they don't have time. Like we're being filmed throughout the entire leg. So there's so much stuff in between that goes on and like sometimes really funny things and sometimes like really cute dorky things and then uh, like tonight in tonight's episode I kind of wish we would have seen more of the dancing you know in more of the polka dancing because I bet that there was a lot of teams that were just like not getting it at all like they kind of only show like highlights you know so I think that that's mostly what you don't see but everything else I mean it's very like what you see like there's not much that's not filmed so you're literally only not filmed when you're at the pit stop yeah, I think what Rachel said is our after our uh, when we did the Amazing Race, one thing that stood out to me was it, one one like one five minute segment had been like a day and a half of travel mm-hmm. for us. Right. So for me, that was I think the first time I realized that wow, there's they film so much, but they have such a little time to squeeze it all in. Yeah. So and you got to think about that, and then you multiply that times like eleven. Yeah. You know? So I mean, you really think that there's so much stuff that they have that they could couldn't even pit, put in. And if they put in, it might not make as much sense in terms of the you know grand story. So. Right, right. Um, well, first let me say Dana Goodyear from our uh, Z-Box room is saying just hello to you guys. Hello. Hey. hey. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> um, here. The well, let me ask, yeah. Let me ask you guys this: Would you have chosen the pose or the polka? Although I think I already know the answer. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I know Rachel would have wanted to do the polka for sure. I would have like told Brendan we had to do the polka. How much fun would it be to do polka while you're in Poland? Like it just seems like such a fun challenge. I mean, I would have had no idea. It was actually like really complicated. That dance they had to learn looked really hard. But I think it just would be the fun option. And obviously, I think the other, the Neptune posing one, might have been like easier. But it's just, the polka is so fun. Why not? See, I thought that if we had done the Neptune one, I could have done the robot while I was up there. Oh, my God. So he that, would have. That would have earned us some extra money really fast. So. Now, I, I am shocked that I 100% knew that you guys would definitely take polka. However, does it even annoy you a little bit? Are you having flashbacks to your Bollywood number where, oh, my oh God, my Rachel, God. if your hand was like, that much off on that when oh. they were like, ah, again. Yes, oh, 100%. I'm like, always watch the dances in Amazing Race and pay attention to them. Because when we did it, like, seriously, if it was literally turned the wrong way, if it was like that instead of like this, they would have been like, nope, done. You, the whole thing is wrong. And you're just like, what? I'm not a professional dancer. And, like, it seems like a lot of the teams in the uh, season since season 20 have gotten away with, like, a lot more than we got away with. I'm always like, man, dude, if this polka thing tonight, the teams were getting, I, it seems like they were just getting passes when they were not doing the moves right yeah. at all. And Tim and Danny just needed to believe. I also thought of you. It was very Pinocchio, very Disney. When when Tim is like, right? just believe, Danny, just believe. I know, that I loved it. it. You're a real boy. <laughs> um, yeah. They it were was, so cute. They were. They were very cute. 
All right, so Z-Box question from Lisa. She says, if you guys ever played again, would you shave your head for the win this time, Rachel? <laughs> I answered that in the chat room. I said I would shave everything for the win this time. I'll shave Whoa, my... whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> everything? Oh, no. Everything. We, one, one thing at a time, okay? <laughs> we just start tackling the head. I'll moment. shave my eyebrows. I mean, yeah. whatever. <laughs> okay. See, now she's going overboard. <laughs> mm-hmm. What did what did you what do you guys think of the Afghanimals? We're doing the um, exit interviews now when the people get off the race each week, and oh, every nice. single team seems to hate the Afghanimals this season. So, what are you guys thinking of them? I kind of feel like they're entertaining, but they're very like uh, I think I feel like they almost try too hard. I don't know. They're like they're the kind of like a uh, team you want to watch, but then you kind of also want to watch them mess up. I mean, that mm -hmm. sounds horrible, but it's kind of true, right? Like, you want to watch them, but you kind of want them to mess up. So then you can be like, ah, oh, the animals, you know, like, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I think what Rach said is, I, I like them because I think they're actually not bad, necessarily bad racers. I think that I watch them get caught up too much in trying to flirt with the girls. Yeah, dude, they're so and, into the NFL girls, <laughs> and, NHL girls. And then also just in general, like the performing. I told Rachel, it's like every every 10 seconds I feel like they're trying to do something funny. You get caught on camera, and you're just like, uh. Like, honestly, I'm just like, be yourself, and it'll probably come off way funnier than any, anything else, you know, in general with anybody. But at least they're competitive. Yeah. Yeah, we love a competitive team. I feel like they're the poor man's twinnies from two seasons ago. <laughs> That's what I feel like they are. They're, poor man's <laughs> They're the poor man's twinnies. All right, let's go to another question from Carla in our Z-Box room who says, Hey, Rachel and Brendel, we'd love to see you and Alyssa on Amazing Race. Is that a possibility? And I'll just say, I don't think Wait, they have three-person teams. Yeah, they want a team of three. I mean, while what, they're at what? it, let's go back to season eight, Family Edition. Okay, you, you want to see a race with one guy and two girls? All right, what, how do you think that's going to end? I'm Brendan's going to disqualify. Yeah. Let's be real. One guy, two girls. What are the odds of me surviving? Sisters. Yeah, they, they should call it Survivor. Yeah. Survivor. Brendan has to survive the race. That's the, yeah. <laughs> that is the challenge. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys ever watch um, any of the Bravo shows, but they have that Vanderpump Rules shows, and one of the oh, girls, yeah. what Stassi from that show was on the Amazing Race Family Edition. That's oh a fun really? Fact. Oh yeah. That is funny. I did not know I that. Not know That's that amazing. Either. Now I'm gonna have to watch that season. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> She's a nightmare, though. Uh, um, <laughs> We're actually friends with some of the Banner Pump Rules people. Uh, we, we met them at the reality stuff out here. Yeah, I heard that they're very nice. I heard Jeffrey Mark yeah. says they're very nice. It's, you mm -hmm. know, we'll see new seasons starting. <laughs> um, Always. Could you, could you believe how many teams did not want to use this U-turn? And Dude. what is that mindset about? I'm looking at Eric. Uh, oh, I know. I know. It drives me insane every time I see that because I'm like, seriously? Like, guys, this is like a race for a million dollars. And no, t they're like, oh, no, we, we don't want a U-turn. And I'm like, okay, well, we saw in season 19 when Eric and Cindy, or uh, Cindy and Ernie did not U-turn, and then the snowboarders came up and ended up winning that race in a foot leg against them. Like, how much would they have wished that they would have U-turned them? You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. that, and that's the difference between winning a leg sometimes. It's like, Yeah, I mean, it's easier crazy. said than done because we know the feeling. Like, you know, you're halfway through. You don't want to make more enemies than you have to, you know, in general, especially with U-turns. Dude, when I got to that U-turn and I got to U-turn Ralph and Vanessa, it was the, <laughs> my favorite day in the world of Rachel. <laughs> Oh, I thought the favorite day in the world of Rachel would be when you found out she was in jail for drunk driving. Hi, Vanessa. Still don't like you. <laughs> Sorry, don't like her. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't... I, I love Tim and Danny for using it. I mean, definitely power to them for using yeah. it. I almost wanted them to use it on the doctors. Just once I want someone to use it right in front of the other team, like when they're right behind them. Be like, yeah, yeah, like when Ken Vixen did that, mm -hmm. like that was insane. 
Who they do it to? They did it to the uh, redheaded um, football oh, yeah, cheerleaders. Yeah, yeah. 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 in uh, season eighteen, it was insane. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely. mean, you guys, what you gotta do is stay alive. Sometimes, you know. You do. But, you yeah. in, in general, yes. I mean, most of the time, you know, kind of, you have a general feeling where you're at, so you know if you're in first, last, or the middle. So mm -hmm. if you need to use it, or you know, you you can probably slip by without using it. You know. Right. So just depends. Brilliant. Okay, here here is a, a Z box question from Diana who says, well done. I bet Marie is so mad the ER doctors didn't really need the pass. They all caught up. Did you hate it when there were legs like that where everyone can catch up? Well, I mean, like, with, with example of the Norway one, because it was a non-elimination leg, mm -hmm. that would have driven me crazy if I had the double express pass. I would have been like, man, kicking myself in the foot. But, um... Not when, because like I like I kind of like the catch up thing because it gives people a chance, you know, to kind of get back and so that they're not just like a whole day behind another team or something, you know, because then that would suck. Like I always think of myself, and then also watching it as a fan, like when you know someone is like a whole day behind, it's like okay, well they're not they have no chance. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, for me, I I look at it as kind of like the yin yang situation where. Sometimes those those moments where you catch up to everybody are good for you, and sometimes they're bad. But in general, That's they true. probably balance each other out, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What what um what did you guys think of this now donut challenge, and specifically the fact that they were running all around, going to different houses, kind of working in teams. Do you feel like the working in the teams makes sense to get yourself? further in the race at the point that they're at right now? Because they're kind of almost past that halfway point. Do you think that's a smart move or not so much? I mean, honestly, <laughs> the, the truth is, is like if you're at a stop like that with another team and they know that they're ahead of all the other teams, like both of them are going to get out of there and get to the pit stop before other teams. Mm -hmm. So in general, it really is not going to matter unless they're trying to get first place and they know that it's between the couple of them. And that, at, at that point, is their decision. If they pull the pass or they, you know, whatever strategy they're going to have. But at the end of the day, those teams all kind of know they're safe, yeah. you know, essentially. So I think make, working with another team doesn't really matter at that point unless you're, you don't care about having to foot race to the final, you know, to the finish. Right, and I think like uh, with the well, the donut thing seems so fun because uh, yeah. you're so hungry when you're running the race. Yeah, that's what people forget. Yeah, like starving, and since this was like a uh, extended leg, you know they're even more tired. So I think that like the donut thing was probably just they were amazed to just get to taste donuts. They were probably just happy to have food, you know. Yeah. Especially as something like a donut, oh, I could just like taste it. <laughs> you mean as opposed to sausages and oh, other meats? Salami, never. Salami. <laughs> that was the worst thing ever. Yeah, it was. It was salami number uh, nine hundred and seventy-five <laughs> that I think we almost. I don't think on. we've eaten salami since. Yeah. The amazing race. <laughs> I, I have to say, that was one of my favorite funny Brenchel edits. Wasn't that when you walked into traffic, Rachel? And Brenda was like, no, Rachel, don't walk into traffic. Yeah. Like, during the Salami Strip Challenge. Yeah. Oh. And when I said the Amazing Race is supposed to be fun and good. Oh, yes. The Amazing Race is supposed to be fun and good. Love it. Oh, it was all part of that same wonderful <laughs> Like, mm -hmm. amazing. It's unforgettable for Italy. us. Italy. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, we, we love us in Italy. Now, we have a very pressing <laughs> yeah. question from the Z-Box room, and it is yeah. from Vanessa Jacks, and she says, is that your bedroom? How many pillows do you have? <laughs> Good question. Yes, this is our bedroom. We have a million pillows because as a female, and you guys all know, uh, pillows are like my stuffed animals from when I was a kid. Like, you can't have enough of them on your bed. <laughs> well, we have the, the one big black stuffed The big stuffed, stuffed, pillow. stuffed dog right here. <laughs> Benz. Hi, Benz. Aww. Yeah. It's such a yeah. tough life. I know, right? Oh, uh, poor dog. He's exhausted. He's, uh, he's 
He's still tired from his hike he went on this yeah. morning. <laughs> uh, well, now, are you guys still... You're still doing the adventures for pets and that, right? Yeah. Or, tell yeah, tell people about on... that. Okay, yeah. so Adventures for Pets is a travel website for pets where my sister and I travel around the country and we take our pets um, and show viewers to, like, go uh, recommendations for pet-friendly hotels, restaurants, beaches, dog parks... Um, specialty boutiques that have um, animal stuff, fun different things. And like we always try to find different um, and unique things that you can do with your pets for travel because our slogan is pets are family and travel with your family, right? How much fun is it to bring your pets along with you when you travel? So yes, we are doing that and we actually have a plan in January in the 2014 that we're going to go in an RV and we're going to film it with a uh, live camera, so we will be posting with every, so oh, everyone knows. Brendan doesn't agree. We'll camera in the RV with my sister, my mom, and I, and our dogs, and Brendan will be coming on some of the trips. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. Don't act like you're not excited. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I cannot wait <laughs> to have Brendan. that film. Brendan, I think it might be time to have children. You need a little boy in that house. You need a boy Thank to you. like I, your... Eric, I want a little boy. To give her something to distract her from taking trips. In RVs with in my RVs. family. <laughs> Across the country. We're really excited. I'm going to be driving the RV, which will be an adventure of its own. Yeah, her driving is an adventure. Babe, I'm a really good driver now. Yeah. Now I'm matured oh. and I'm a good driver. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's not what I remember from Big Brother, Rachel. Thank you. It was like a 30-second segment. I said I've matured. I've matured in a, a year and a half, and I've become... Yeah, there's only like two scrapes on the side of our car. Oh, I wish. <laughs> uh oh oh uh oh All right, let us see our next question from the Z-Box room, which is from Alex, who says, Polka looks so much harder to me, to be honest. Do you feel like the camera helps direct people to you for challenges like the pose challenge? So meaning, does being surrounded by the camera crew help oh. get you money in a challenge and, and stuff like that? I don't that? think so, because sometimes people are scared off by the camera. Like, they don't know what you're doing, and they don't want to interfere. And, um, when, like, we found, we ran into situations when we were in Japan where, People didn't want to talk to us because we were American and speaking English, you know. So or I think a lot with the camera, obnoxious, but whatever. Well, yeah, and <laughs> but, Americans help yeah. us, somebody speak English to us, yeah. Oh, but man. I mean, <laughs> I think that like the camera, it makes it a production, and some people don't want to be involved with the production, especially if they're busy or doing something. So I don't know. It's I guess it just depends. Honestly, uh, you know, a lot of the places that they'll have pit stops, you know, they're, they're public places. They're mm -hmm. public spaces. So there's a lot of people in there. Uh, and I think it's just like any any spot because some of them are tourist attractions. So you may have more people at some time during the day, less people at another time. You know? And I hate begging for money. Like, that's my number one thing. I hate, hate, hate doing. Like, I'm horrible at it. I'm like... Please, can we have some money? And like, I don't know how. She says it like a Disney character. Yeah, I do. What? Please. <laughs> um, but I don't know how to do it. Like, I'm horrible at begging for money, except from Brendan. <laughs> yeah, there's no begging. Yeah. Just open the wallet and. Uh, uh, Rachel, don't you have five hundred thousand dollars? I know. Well, she still wants to take from me. Hey, I. Yeah, you're my husband. <laughs> I hear you on that. <laughs> okay, let's bring up another question from Dolphin Poet, who says, you think kids are going to save you from trips in the RV? Sorry, Brendan, but there will be more. <laughs> yes, and when we have kids, you have to travel in an RV, right? Isn't that like the rule that you have to go on a cross-country road trip with your family in an RV? Uh, yeah, I think maybe. Um, like, 10, 20 years from now, <laughs> when the kids are able to drive themselves? No, when you can, like, go and they're all five and cute and, like, they can go to national parks and you go and you just get the RV and you're, like, 
traveling around the country and going to like the fun parks. And yes, stuff. that that would be fun. I agree, that yeah, would be fun. See? But there's other things to do before that. Like you know? go to Disneyland. What do you? <laughs> Disney World, Disney World. Disney World, yes, exactly. You could drive an RV to Disney World. We have no children. She's already planning their college education. They will be going to UCLA. UCLA. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> I'm not planning their colleges. Brendan yes. is planning their colleges. That's, that's true. <laughs> I have to say I'm floored by this, Brendan. I thought for sure you would be all about the RV trips, and Rachel would not be. So I am... Right? I, we are getting to the heart of it. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm about the RV trips. No. She just, I guess what I'm thinking in my head is she's talking about this RV trip like, oh, you just go and it's you just jump in the RV and go. Meanwhile, I'm loading it for like six hours before we ever leave, taking the gas up, checking the tires. I, I'm refilling everything and... That's what jumping in the RV You'll is. You'll do that for my, me and my mom and my sister. Oh, <laughs> my God. I think you need to pitch this to CBS. CBS, yeah. are you watching? This is a new show. <laughs> On the road with friends and Rachel. And then they yeah. have to off the car. But with the, in the RV, right? <laughs> yeah. Or we could just call it the crazy one. Is it? That's already a show on CBS. They're stupid. <laughs> with, it's called Adventures fucking... for Pets, and it's really Adventures with Brenchel and their pets. <laughs> right. Well, you let us know. We we could do a whole show about it and promote it. <laughs> God. Um, Thomas from the Z Box Room is just saying hi. He just wants to say hi. He doesn't have a question. Hey, hey Thomas. Thomas! Thanks for saying hi. Thanks for ch coming by and chatting. So. Yeah. What, well, I know that you guys were so great in answering a ton of people's questions during the show live in the Z Box room, which was amazing. So, like, a lot of people got their questions answered. Yeah. Um, what What do you guys think of the Rockers being eliminated? Did we like oh, them as a team? I was so sad. I did like that team. I was kind of rooting for them as like the underdog team, and they were competitive and fun. And I was bummed that they were eliminated. Especially because, like, when you have a non-elimination leg and then, like, um, well, with a, a lot of non-elimination legs, right, they have, uh, you know, speed bumps or, like, penalties or whatever. But th when it's, like, a continue racing leg, there's no speed bump, there's no penalty. So, like, the girls, like, the basketball girls ended up going from last to first, mm -hmm. you know. So that that's kind of hard because usually when it's a non-elim, the, the leg before, you usually see... Um, the team that w that was last, you know, they'll either do really well or they'll get eliminated. Yeah. Right. But, yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, I don't know if I really like it when they do continue and they don't have any penalty for being last. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like I don't remember the last time I've seen a penalty for being last in a leg. Um... I don't remember. I don't remember when the last time that I've seen that was, but it doesn't really matter what I remember because we all know. I don't remember well, like, for a speed bump. For they speed bump. Yeah, yeah, like a speed bump. Whenever they do a a non-elimination leg and then they have a speed bump in the next leg. I mean, they used to go crazy. Like they would take away, you know, backpacks and money, <laughs> yeah. and like mm -hmm. they would uh, like, like, yeah, just give me, a, give me, just kick me out. I don't. Yeah. Want, I can't survive without my bag now. <laughs> I need my backpack. <laughs> But they would, like, go crazy, like, 30-minute time penalties. Like, mm -hmm. they told them they were marked for elimination. Like, and they, then they had speed bumps where they had to do an additional challenge. And now with, like, the the continue, um, continuing legs, it's just, it's kind of like you almost want to see them have to do something if they're last. But then you kind of don't, I don't know. It's, as a racer, I have to think differently because I'm like, if that was me, I would not want to have to do anything. But then as a viewer, I want to watch it. Yeah, I mean, it's just you can't, you don't want to be in the back, really, Ever. for any reason. Never. Mm -hmm. A U-turn pops up, you, then you can you can go out like they did, yeah. you know? Because if you're far enough ahead, you still have a chance to be able to complete the U-turn and stay, in, stay up in the pack. Right. Know? I think as I think as a viewer, it comes down to one thing for me, and it's if I like you or I don't, whether I want to see you do a speed bump. That's true. At the that end. is true. That is true. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not really impartial or partial on the basketball wives, really. I don't feel like we've really gotten to know them in the race at all. 
Well, we just kind of see them. They, they go through things. They they're do not them. uber competitive. They don't. They're yeah, not they kind like, of more get lucky or yeah. get help from somebody. They're not. Yeah, they. they, they I don't guess have I have any ha good one liners. I haven't felt like I've seen them stand on their own two feet yet right. as a team. So that's that's what I'll kind of anticipate. Hopefully, that you see from them uh, if they stay around. Mm -hmm. I yeah I. I'm indifferent on them. I'm indifferent. I don't even know if I'm supposed to say it. Your season was my favorite season. The yeah! season after that, I <laughs> loved. I loved, like, the Twins and the Chippendales and all those people. I just kind of feel like the la well, last season, when nobody would do anything, when the people were just, like, quitting on the first challenge, like, oh, oh we got to build sandcastles. Too yeah, hard, yeah. bye. Let's just all quit. Yeah. Yeah. Take a 10-hour penalty. <laughs> I don't. And this season, I'm just like, okay, Tim and Marie, whatever, you guys. But I don't know. We we need, like, I wish they could bring you all back and have a good <laughs> season. But, you know, whatever. Uh, they, they, they need people with fire in their bellies, you know? That's mm -hmm. what it is. Like, there's been some, some seasons that we've even watched before where you have a lot of people that just are, like, super friendly. And you're like, it's fun to watch nice people, don't get me wrong. But you still want to see some competitiveness come out, yeah. and sometimes people that are like super overly nice don't do that really. So it's kind of a letdown in the, uh, you know, in the drama department. So you want to mix of both, kind of thing. I think I like watching race versus competitive teams. Like I like seeing people that are super competitive and that will stop at nothing, like to win, and that they, you know, they know that that's what their end goal is, and they're going to get it. Well, like our season that we were on, we had so many people that were very competitive. Gosh, Rachel so and it was like, you know, the whole time, even the people that weren't doing great were still doing pretty good. So mm -hmm. you, you didn't have a lot of time, a, a lot of opportunities to slip up and still be good, you know? Right. So. Yeah, it, I like a competitive team, but I thought the race was just supposed to be fun and good race. So we, we need to <laughs> add like fun, good, competitive. Be fun and good. Because they are always filming. The only time they're fil they're not filming is pretty much when everybody's sleeping. Yeah. So there's not like I said, if if you have small chit chat while you're grabbing a cup of coffee, it's usually oh, you eating coffee? Yeah, cool. All right, night. Yeah, you know I mean it's. It's nothing, so it's not. It would not be worth ever hearing. But right. uh, yeah, you're really good about catching anything that we say. So if we're gonna be talking game, two two beat players, like even there's time where we did, uh, and maybe it didn't even really make the show, but we would walk off, and the camera crew comes with you. Yeah. So you know. So if somebody's fighting with you and you don't want it to make air, the best strategy is just to lay down and pretend like you're sleeping. Just like yeah. Yeah, to the ground right. and start sleeping, and then they won't film you. Um, or if you're French, all then that everything makes there because we don't. Uh, we always forget cameras are there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does because you're French. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Aaron uh, says from our Z Box room, "Hey Rachel, thanks for following me on Twitter." So I'm not Yay. sure who Aaron is, but he says thanks for following him on Twitter. Hi, um, Aaron. You're <laughs> so, uh, what did is there like which which team are you guys rooting for this season? If you had to pick one team that you wanted to win, go all the way. Who is the team that you're giving the official Brenchel stamp for for this season to go all the way? The ER doctors, because they have like moves up their sleeves, mm -hmm. and they're competitive and they're cute and like. I don't know, I just, I really enjoy watching them, and they're very likable, and on top of being that, they do, they have tricks up their sleeve, and they're not just, like, you know, playing the game all friendly and everyone's best friend, they're, like, strategic. Yeah, no, definitely, the doctors. Yeah, just, in general, likability factor, uh, competitiveness, and their ability to get along with each other. Yeah, they're so... so and they're so entertaining to watch. I mean, you're, you're not watching them to see who they're going to fight with or cuss at, but you're watching them because you know that they're going to make a good show. So they're, they're definitely people. <laughs> no, definitely. I agree. There was, like, the shadow behind my curtain. I was like, oh, my goodness, there's a burglar in the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, that's my dog. Uh, so, yeah, I definitely, um, I definitely like the doctors. Oh, Ben's. I, I definitely did like uh, the doctors this season. But, Brendan, 
were aren't you like a little bit weirded out by them? Just remember the first episode when they were like, "We were ER doctors, but we didn't read the clue." Or like, I wouldn't want them to touch me. I would stay away from them. I'd be terrified. That's hilarious. Mm. I mean. I feel like, hey, in Amazing Race, you could read that stupid clue 20 times and still not know what it says. Yeah. Point in case. I mean, you know, you know uh, uh, The Amazing Race is a good place in reality television sometimes in general that you can see people in, in positions that you might not otherwise see them in. So you don't really see an ER doctor in a vulnerable state where she's tra they're struggling to read a clue and follow it, you, you know, because they don't get that opportunity. So yeah. it's kind of good for people in general to see people like that because it helps us remember that they're human, you know, so we don't hold anybody to these crazy, you know, <laughs> ultra-high um, statuses. But, um, you know, I think they're a great team. So we definitely want them to win and go all the way for sure. And that's a great PC answer, Brenton. And I would agree with you if it was anybody else but the emergency medical doctor. <laughs> I think they're going to be in high stress when my neck is splurting out blood. And they're like, okay, let's see, what are we going to do? No, no, I am totally kidding, people. I am sure they are a great, wonderful team. And I couldn't imagine the stress that you guys are under on Amazing Race or on Big Brother for that reason. But yeah. let's let's go to another Z-Box question from Steven, who right. says, what was one of the hardest moments on Big Brother and The Amazing Race um, that required your perseverance? So what was like a hard situation in either Big Brother or Amazing Race that... I think the hardest two situations on Amazing Race, one was that stupid salami. It was just uh, <laughs> a nightmare. Um, but then the second one was when... I messed up a million quadrillion percent, a million dollar mistake, uh, and I misread the clue in Hawaii, and I got really discouraged, and we got ended up going to the helicopter last, and well, we, we were both, like we so far behind. Yeah, we, it wasn't just it was her. My fault. It wasn't just her fault. We well, both we both messed up. We both messed up. Good husband. Good husband answer. <laughs> um, Glad you're petting me. Yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, I think that was really hard because we both had to, like, persevere and, like, we had to keep going because I was so upset and exhausted and hungry and I was I wanted to give up. And we're both like, okay, we can't give up. We can't give up. Same thing in Big Brother when Brendan was evicted twice, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. See, no, you never saw that low blow coming, huh? That wasn't a blow. That was a... Bump. That was more in the back of the head. No, that was a bump. That Anyways, was like, I'm uh, saying I had to persevere because you're my rock. So I was gonna say that I think for for me at least, yeah, in Big Brother, anytime Rachel and I were separated, both first and second season, yeah, it was tough for us because in Big Brother you are you know you're isolated, so to have each other in that house is huge, and when you have that person taken away from you, it's really hard to deal with because then you really feel like you're on your own. So. You know, that, that I think was the hardest. But in um, the race, I think in general, the, the hard part is not wanting to fight when you really, really want to really badly. <laughs> you know? Well, when you start getting an argument, you're like, I really just want to argue because I'm just angry, I'm tired, I'm hungry. I'm, it's, it's getting like that, but Rumpy. fighting the urge because, you know, it's just pure, you know, I mean, you're, you're hungry, you're tired, you're, yeah, right? I mean, people 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 tend to fight when they get in situations like that. You fight? No, uh, not. Aww. We're just watching you dig your grave, Brent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're digging that grave. Well, uh, look, you need to make up code words if you ever end up on another reality show, or when like you're really mad, just be like, "I want pancakes." And then yeah, right. Know that I, means, I, I thought can't. about that. I was like, elephant. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that wouldn't sound weird. What? Yeah. Elephant? What? That's a code word. Yelling elephant in the middle of the street. Okay, what should I name? Benz? Benz. Like, yeah, start talking in Benz, in Benz dog talk. Like, Ryan, are you ruining that, Ratty? <laughs> what? Oh. Well, look. <laughs> Speaking of Big Brother, I can tell you right now, without a doubt, I have a question from probably your biggest fan. Brunchel, oh, and really? that would be one Miss Alyssa Riley. Oh! 
Michelle, who is asking, are you guys going to watch Jesse and Eric tonight? <laughs> OMG! Jesse and Eric, as in you? What? I don't know who Jesse and Eric are, but that's the question. So I was hoping that you guys would know. It's from your sister. <laughs> well, that's very confusing for all of us. So <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Who are Jesse and Eric? This Eric, maybe. And Jesse? Is there another Jesse you're having on show? Or? No. Jesse. No. Jesse, uh -oh. like, Jesse God Godrez from Goddard. Wrestling? Sure, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that. Okay. Maybe, maybe yeah. she meant maybe she meant John and I. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, but... she probably did. It's Alyssa. She probably did. No offense, John. We love you. <laughs> she probably did mean that. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Yes, John is John is in here. He's the one controlling the questions. Okay, so yeah, let's right? <laughs> let us switch to a different one then from Blake Dixon, who says, "Uh oh, let me let me get the camera ready." Uh, Will you guys kiss for us? Aww, uh, kiss cam only if you put like little hearts and like. Uh, okay, stars. go ahead. Kiss cam, kiss cam. Are you doing it right <laughs> yep, now? Yep, yep. Go ahead. Kiss You're on. Okay. You. <laughs> Yay! Yay! That, yeah. I feel like we're at a professional sporting event. <laughs> <laughs> or it's pr it's giving proof to people that says I run a webcam business. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Well, we need to start wrapping it up. So thank you guys for all of your questions. Just to run down the list of the way people checked in tonight, we had Tim and Marie in first, Jason and Amy in second, Nicole and Travis in third, Nick and Kim in fourth, Tim and Danny in fifth, Allie and Ashley in sixth, and uh, Brandon and Adam were of, uh, uh, officially, I was going to say unofficially, now it's pretty official, they're booted. <laughs> Uh, bye guys so um if you guys I, I think a great way to end it is where was your favorite place to go on the race like what out of all the places that you guys went when you were racing what was your favorite place that you guys went to and why africa west africa what was it west tanzania tanzania west africa because it was so cool like how many people would love to go on a safari in Africa. I mean, we got, like, that's literally been my dream forever. Like, Brendan and I talked about on Big Brother how, like, our dream was to go on African safari. Like, we wanted that so bad. The only thing we talk about more is seeing the northern uh, Aurora Borealis. Well, that's what I talk about. Well, and ironically, before, actually, before we went on the race, for her birthday, I bought her an Africa book. So it was, yeah. it was a guidebook to Africa. So she she And that was uh, before we even knew we were going on. That was before yeah. Big Brother. Yeah. Yeah. So Africa. So now, Rachel, you can actually answer this question for me for real, because you know I think I am just as obsessed with Disney and Disney World as you are. Yay! So how does the <laughs> African safari in real life compare to the I Disney have, World oh version? God. It was amazing. Well, okay, well, first of all, because I love Disney World, and I have to give them their props, because for what they ha deliver, it is really good. But, I mean, in being in Africa is, like, like the animals are, like, in front of you. Like, we had to stop our um, safari bus because there was elephants that were, like, right next to our safari, like, walking by. Like you. Vanessa could... got out of her car? Okay, go ahead. Well, I, we wish. <laughs> no, um, no, we had about 70 elephants it was come crazy. through our, our caravan. Yeah. And then, like, um, there was little baboons with baby baboons on their backs and their little baboon butt. It was so cute. And the thing I think Disney World misses with their safari is that when you're doing the Disneyland safari, the animals don't ever come up close to the safari vehicle, which is probably safe, right? <laughs> yeah. Because you, you probably don't want hundreds of thousands of animals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I, I mean, that was, like, no. the biggest difference. Would not work out well. No. Probably not, you know, especially with the lion exhibit they have there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it look, really does look like how it looked. I mean, for for yeah, for what you get, I, I suppose, especially you're tying all the stuff from Disney World and you're doing all those adventures and seeing everything. It is a good value. Yeah. But uh, seeing Africa for real and being out there when you know it's um, I mean, it's the real thing is definitely a life changing experience. It if, was. Definitely. We would always recommend anyone if you can ever get a chance to go to Africa. Uh, I think it's it's a beautiful place, but just 
the whole vibe, the whole feel that you get when you're in Africa is completely different than anywhere else you'll ever be. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, I think it sounds amazing. I thank you guys so much for coming on, being a part of our Z-Box event. We learned so much. You guys are going in an RV. You're going to have a baby boy. You're going to hear <laughs> first. They're not having a baby boy, people. That is a joke. <laughs> uh, um, we will hopefully in a few Rum- years. Rumor number 3,755. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, we know. We we saw the Big Brother segment this season. You're in competition. for keeping the right. floor. We are. Secrets out. That's Secrets true. Out. Dominic, Danielle, if you watch this, we're still getting pregnant first. <laughs> okay. We'll see. We I got the little board right here. <laughs> um, all right. So tell everybody one more time where they can find you. If there's anything that you guys want to promote or anything, the floor is yours. Yay, at Rachel E. Riley on Twitter, Instagram, and Vine. Or actually on Instagram, it's like at Rachel E. Riley B, I guess. Really okay, long. mine's at Brennan V B B twelve on Twitter and Instagram. It's the same. I'm cool like that. Well, I could someone already took mine. I know, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so uh But anyway. you can like find us at brentalarmy.com and we, it's always updated with like all of our fun stuff that we're doing and any like fun little challenges or whatever, anything that we're doing, you can yep. go to frenchalarmy.com. And I'm still in school, still hopefully about two years away from finishing my PhD. I'm working on Alzheimer's disease and uh, then we'll see where we go from there. So yeah, it's, it's uh, good. So check out Retro Army for anything coming up. Yep. Yay! All right. Yeah. Yay. All right. Thank you guys so much Thank for joining you. us. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in and watching us. We love you guys. And, and thanks for having us on Z Box. Benz. Ben. Say bye. Say bye, Bob. Bye, Benz. Oh, Benz, I got. Well, that about wraps up our special, amazing race Z-Box event for you guys for tonight, but don't go anywhere. I have a special treat in store for you guys in just a few minutes. I'm going to have the exit interviews with Branson and Adam, the team that were eliminated tonight from the amazing race. But first, I just need to say, if you guys like what we did here tonight, make sure you tune in this Wednesday when we will have Rob Sesternino live in our Z-Box room chatting during Survivor, and then we will immediately follow it with a live video Q&A where he'll be taking the questions from the Z-Box room, just like what we did tonight with Brendan and Rachel. And of course, if you like our shows, you should head over to yourrealityrecaps.com to see everything that we do. We cover Big Brother, Amazing Race, Survivor, as well as your favorite Bravo shows. And we even added a new show on Friday nights called Reality Check, where the whole show is just based on your questions, your comments, pop culture, reality TV, and so much more you really need need to check it out. And this Friday is going to be our Halloween Spooktacular. We're going to dress in costumes and it's going to be so much fun and you're going to love it. Now, if you guys want to help support the show, the easiest way that you can do it is just share it on social media with your friends. Of course, it really helps us if you give a thumbs up to this video in YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And that, that, that's about it. That is about it for this week. Let's head over to the interviews and I will see you guys all back here on Wednesday night with Rob Sesternino. Bye for now. Now. <laughs> it's a boo on the booyah. What? <laughs> you bearded retards. <laughs> what, what happened, Brandon? What happened, Adam? What, what, what am I missing? Oh, we're <laughs> nothing. We're just, we're, uh, it's like you're, she said you're from Reality Recap. We thought you were going to be like, ah, oh, Reality Recap. See you guys well. See ya. And just hang up on us. What? Okay. <laughs> that's, yeah. be, that's your recap. You're a loser. Uh, <laughs> have you I been think, talking? That's a field to be a bunch of Bearded loser fuck. Extra <laughs> boo on the loser. No, <laughs> no. No, no. We love you. I love you guys. I think that you guys are great. I think you might have been talking to James and Abba. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, yeah. We, we turned the Yeah, around. no, it's funny. Actually, in casting, they asked us what differed us from those guys. And we're like, uh, they suck. They're not funny and they don't need the money. I was like, but my years? <laughs> <laughs> well, That's 20 years and like a thousand fans that they slept with but you know other than I've, that I've never I've never been in Megadeth <laughs> uh, this is true this is true um do you you know what was it like for you guys um on last night's episode finding out that the Afghanimals had detoured you well we knew they detoured us before we were actually at the u-turn sign because we, we were passed by them. on the way and they apologized 
But they did, we knew, you know, we knew they did it before we even got to the U-turn sign, and they did... But let me preface this this by, it sucked. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really sucked, but we knew it was coming. (laughs) Right. We Um, knew it was coming, and they did the smart move. Yeah. We have no idea. You know, they did... They did the move we would have done to anyone else. So we told them uh, no hard feelings. You know, we got to talk to them at another time, and we said, hey, look, you know, you did to us what we told all the other teams. Like, hey, if we're, you know, second to last and you're last, prepare to get burned because that's the only time we're going to U-turn with anyone. Well, and and we told the other teams. The other teams were really actually pissed at them for it, and we tried to tell the other teams, like, hey, you know, don't be mad at them. Like, this is the game they did the right move, we would have done it. Like, I know, you, you know, we've made friends with you guys and you're upset, but, like, it's still a game. Like, you guys, don't get mad at them. It's what they, you know, right. we would have done it to us, too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I think it's amazing that you guys ha- are able to have that perspective on the game. I know a lot of teams don't have that perspective, so that's great that you guys, you know, can see the bigger picture of it all like that. Um, what was it like for you guys doing the statue pose for so long? And then uh, what was it like? What was it like doing it? Did you, did you hate it? It was exhausting. Yeah. I mean, the reason we went there, the whole thing is we initially, we got our clue. This is Brandon, by the way. And, um, we, we got a clue and we wanted to do the dancing because it's like, okay, that's something you can control. It's not like kindness of, you know, people. And so situational. Yeah. And so we actually asked all these people and they're like, Oh yeah, it's right down there. That's the old town hall. We go down there. It's not the old town hall. There's just a bunch of security in there that doesn't want us dancing in there. And it's, but it happens to be right next to the statue thing. And we're like, well, uh, you know, it's real. Let's just do it right here. And it's obviously, you know, somebody finds it was the wrong place. And, um, so yeah, we started doing it and, we, the first time we were there, we were for like 20 minutes, and we were there longer the first time than either of the two teams combined wow. were there. So, and at the end of 20 minutes, we only had like seven slotty, and we needed 75. So it was like, we came just, it was bad timing for both times we went there, because the baseball wives had just worked that crowd. It was the same exact crowd. They're not going to give us money after the double D's just left. And then they're not going to, you know, like, when we came up, they just given it to the animals. So it was like, it was just crappy timing. Well, you guys mentioned dancing, and we actually have a fan question from Shelly Perry, who says that, A, she loves you guys, and B, do you wish that you had taken some dance lessons before the show? No, absolutely not. I don't know what they show on TV, because I actually haven't seen the episode. I live in the woods, so I didn't drive out takes me an hour to get out from where I live to pavement. Right. But, uh, smashed it. We smashed that dancing. We knew we would, we got there and we did. And we did it in four tries. And for example, the only other team we were close to the, the ice Queens and the Afghanimals, they had been there for ever. They had tried over and over and over again. And were just failing miserably. The ice Queens did it in three tries, but they're also professional dancers. Right. You know, they, we, they, we, they, we, they were living. We were told that, like, we did it one of the fastest times, you know, of any of the teams. It just happened to be when we got there. And right. I can I can dance salsa. I can dance all kinds of things. I can cut a rug, if you will. But <laughs> polka, that's my first polka. I think we did pretty good. I think you guys did. You guys, you guys kicked ass at the polka. Um, so, Adam, you are the eco farmer living in the woods guy right that's the one all right (laughs) how are we going to survive in the woods on five thousand dollars for life as uh brandon said that you would be able to do oh no a year not life for a year oh it was a year it was okay all right well still we need some we need some good survival tips from you adam and i feel like you were the (laughs) one to ask for this uh learn how to grow food okay uh don't blow your money on a lot of stuff. I go about once a month to town. I get food. I get needed construction supplies or whatever, and I come home. And I am very satisfied with the things that are provided around me. I don't need a lot of stuff. 
Well, you know, he does outside stuff or he sits and, you know, you read instead of watch TV, you know, he doesn't have electricity, you know, all those bills of things like that. His cell phone is not, isn't it prepaid? <laughs> yeah. It's all like stuff that if you're not using it, isn't costing you money. You Interesting. Know. I don't. I don't know if I could do that whole reading thing, but you know, <laughs> it, it is. It, it, it's neither can any of my neighbors. <laughs> uh, oh. um, so, is there anything that you guys would have done differently on the race, looking back at it now? Yeah, one. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. There's a million things, you know, when you start going through, like. There's things like joint alliances that were presented to us, but we didn't want to do that stuff. And presented at the time with the things that were coming at us and, like, the people that we found, like taxi drivers and stuff that didn't speak English. And, you know, we did the best we could at the time and, like, put the same situation not knowing anything, you know, that's ahead. We'd probably do the exact same thing. Right. You know, just... You know, when you're in the position that you're in, you make the best decision at the time. I think we did that, um, and there were some things getting held up at the airport, and we, you know, we did, we didn't get to leave. You know, some of the teams had a half hour lead on us. Right. So at that point, you're in the position you're in. You just run the race the best you can, and you do what you can. And we, I, I think we did good. I kind of regret regret that we ever stopped for the statue because we knew we didn't want to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and. You know, maybe there's, in hindsight, you, you go, oh, yeah, I could have gone back to find another taxi, not the one that didn't know anything, but a new taxi, and then try and find this whole town hall that way. But, you know, you you do what you can, and you get one lead that's like, oh, it's it's close, it's by this way, it's down this, this street, and blah, blah, blah. So you go down there, and then do what you can. Well, we're running it, too. When you figure it's a U-turn, that we figure the the two tasks are going to be really close together, mm-hmm. you know, so we didn't think you needed a taxi to get to the other one. And we just ha- kept asking people where this old town hall was. And they kept directing to us a building that was right next to the statues. And it wasn't the right one. Right. I, I think for me, you guys had one of the best lines of the season, uh, towards my nemesis, the devil Marie, uh, <laughs> when you were like, where we don't want your, express pass we don't need it we're not gonna take it do you guys regret not um trying more to get it from her maybe in a little bit of the way that the doctors did or do you just feel like she was never gonna move and you really had no play for it at all i think we probably could have gotten it Mm -hmm. but i don't regret it at all like uh you know even losing i it's still, I, I think, one of, like you said, I, it was it's one of the, my favorite moments that I watched of the thing. Like, I thought it, even though I did it, I thought it was really funny. <laughs> right. I don't know. I, 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 I don't think she was when the doctors finally did get her to give them the express pass. Right. They were at a point where they had to give it away. Mm-hmm. They didn't have a choice. You know, you have to give it away by the end of the fifth leg or whatever. Right. But I, they, did, I did have an advantage. Yeah, Brandon had an really advantage. had a big crush on me, so I probably could have got it. But uh, yeah, I think I probably could have pimped him out. Yeah, she had. Yeah, she 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 wasn't shy about it. She had, <laughs> she had uh, mustache dreams and uh, beard fascinations. I think it. I think you might have won out that one. I think you might have done that. I think it might have worked out better. Let's just put it that oh, way. Oh yeah, no, I, I don't regret it. <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> Can you imagine how that would have worked out? Oh god. I don't want to. I, I don't even want to imagine. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I told her at one point, even if it did happen, I was like, I don't think I'd enjoy it. You just yell at me all the time. This is true. <laughs> we, yeah, yeah, definitely true. Uh, do you guys <laughs> have... Right. What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing, sorry. Oh, no. I was going into my Marie impression. I'm not going to do that. No, no, do it. Yeah. We want a Marie impression. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. Uh, I, you know, to be honest, Marie is one of the, the most like messed up people that I know in the way she treats people, but I like her um, because she's not all that bad of a person in reality. And I think it's funny. She stays who she is and she's just messed up. She's and interesting. So unapologetic for it. And it's just like, it's really rather amazing. You're just like, Whoa, you're just like extreme and you just don't care. Like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it's not boring. Let's put it that way. 
Yeah. Right, right. I think as a fan of reality TV and The Amazing Grace, I think we all love those characters. We we need somebody to love to hate. And oh, yeah, I definitely, sure. we definitely love to hate uh, Murray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so who are you guys rooting for to win um, now to go all the way and take the win now that you're unfortunately out of it? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Really? Oklahoma. Right off the bat, as soon as we were eliminated, we were like, well, if it's not us, we hope Oklahoma gets it. Because those guys work 80 hours a week, and they've got young kids, and they're young guys, and, and you know, a million dollars would change their whole lives. They're like and I, two of the best guys you've ever met. Yeah, super sweet guys. Uh, they don't show enough of them on TV, but those guys are actually really funny, too. Uh, we would have just blown it. You know, like, now i got to find a, another a scam to get Brandon a racing camel. <laughs> so, you know, we would have blown it on dumb things, probably. Right. Uh, well, and they would have, you know, changed their family's lives. Yeah. It would have changed our lives too cuz then we could have entered the camel racing circuit and, you know, who knows. Adam but, got out of the woods. Yeah. No. He wants to be in the woods. He's no. just been fancier in the woods. <laughs> no, no, I know. Um I want to gold front in the woods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so I know that we need to wrap it up, but is there anything that you guys want to leave your fans with? Any message that you have for them? Uh, yeah, this is Adam. I would say, you know, thanks for the support. Thanks for the support of our families and like our wives that help things back, you know, help things down back here at home. And, uh, you know, if the fans want it and they push that button, they might see us again on something else. Oh, yes. Yeah, if they can do anything to help us, <laughs> we'll do anything. Well, well not, remember, I wouldn't do Survivor, but no. <laughs> well, we might not do reality. You know, we might not do any more game shows or anything. But you know, there's always other shows. Maybe they'll give us our own beardy show, yeah. a cooking show. Who this, knows? This we is had a great true. time, and it's 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 uh, it was sad to see it end. You know, like it actually, they took good care of us afterwards. So like we weren't didn't have that long to be bummed out when it was actually happening. And when this is, you know, I, I have people now constantly reminding me, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's, it's okay. It happened a while ago. Like, I had a great time. Yeah, well, yeah I wouldn't trade it for anything. Exactly. Good, and, and you shouldn't. No regrets. Where would, uh, where can your fans find you online so that they can keep in touch and keep up with what you're doing and, you know, stay in touch with you? I, I have a Facebook page, and that's about it. Um, and is your bands have Facebook pages as well? Yeah, and then I'm, I'll, that's about and it. I'll yeah, be both bands. I'll be making a Facebook page uh, and joining Brandon pretty quick here, and joining 20th Century, I guess, so they can find me through Brandon. All right, well, great. We will have all of the links uh, for that below this video for everybody that is watching, so that they can keep in touch with you guys. And thank you so much for taking some time out to speak with us. No problem. All right, thank, thank you, you Eric. All right, we'll see you around. Bye-bye.